Hi everybody, welcome to season two, episode 16. We're here in the United States uh, on the Pacific Ocean, but we took lots of great footage of the Chateau de la Griffery, that's our chateau, uh, and uh, we wanted to do a little bit of a walkthrough. A lot of folks seem to enjoy the walkthrough of the premier etage and the attic, and so we're gonna do a careful walkthrough through the main floor, and Leslie, uh, my wife, and also decorator, interior designer, uh, we'll tell you a little bit of what we've done and, and also what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be even more interesting. So uh, with no further ado, here we go. Now this, these are the plans. So one unique thing about the house is that the whole front are all glass doors, which is very unusual for the front door, uh, but it lets so much amazing light in every morning. It's incredible. Uh, so the foyer is actually a really good size, um, which is great for when we have lots of people over. Um, it has old beams in the ceiling. I don't know if they were painted at one point. They might have been. That could have been cool. But you're going to be changing the color, I think you said. Yeah, those. for sure. What are you going to do color. with it? Um, well, they're trying to be um, wood, and I would like to make it look more like wood. Uh, so under, darker? Yeah, more like a dark walnut. You can kind of see underneath the, the wash that they did. Um, I would have preferred the underneath color, to be honest, but um, we'll see what we can figure out when we get to that. Yeah. Then looking to the left, you see the beautiful staircase. We do. The staircase is gonna it's gonna stay the same. Probably will change the runner. The runner's old. It's been for there for a long time. Um, don't know what color yet. We'll figure it out. And we have those uh, convection heaters sitting at the top of the stairs. Yes. Uh, those will change eventually too. Right. So then the, the beautiful uh, doors. The doors are great. Yeah. On all the molding and everything like that's great. I think I'd love to see some wallpaper in here. There's a lot of exposed wall. Perfect place for some pattern. Something interesting. Especially with us going through this room, it's just sort of a transition room. Um, so any kind of pattern wouldn't, wouldn't tire a person out. The railing is beautiful. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, the wood is great. It just needs a nice oil and, uh, and it's just kind of dry and just needs a little perking up. We also have a couple of uh, animal heads up there and uh, I like them. I mean, it's very French. Do you like them? Well, it's country. It's like a hunting lodge vibe, right. uh, and you know I don't mind it. It's fine. In in that spot is actually a really good place for it. Now, if you'll notice, um, we have noticed that the floor shifted very slightly by the staircase. If you look at the newel post, you can look at the bottom there to the bottom left, and you can see that it's just there's a little bit of a gap there. And in general terms, the staircase feels pretty solid, but there is just a bit of a tilt, maybe. Eh? There is. I I look forward to someday figuring out what exactly happened. Yeah. We have yet to get to the bottom of that. Uh, of what happened and why it happened and what's going on with all that and we're, hopefully nothing we're, further happens. We're very much <laughs> hoping that uh, that's happened like 80 years ago or something and not like <laughs> two years ago. Yeah. I like that lamp by the way. Oh good. Yeah, yeah that was nice. a great little broken fine. Yeah. Uh, again, that little nook is a great place for a nice little curved sofa or something for the foyer. And uh, what about the runner? What color will you go? I'm not sure yet. Uh, that's the perfect spot to maybe have a nice splash of color. Maybe we'll go super formal and we'll go red or I don't know, maybe we'll keep it neutral. We'll have a lot of students running up and down those stairs. Yeah. Red rug, which I actually grew up with. Red rug. There you go. It shows every little bit of everything. And uh, so we'll probably go neutral just to try to make it look like it's clean more often. Yeah, there's your favorite lantern. And also it's yes. kind of fun. Uh, someone was looking at, some of our students were looking at the uh, heads and they noticed that the one head on the right side is looking up from when you're coming down the stairs and the other one's looking down when you're coming up. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of fun. Then I love these. I love these noodles or what are they? Uh, no, they're Those... Corbels. Corbels, pardon me. Uh, so these actually are um, the same pattern and shape. I think they're a little smaller maybe as they are in the dining room, um, which is why I gilded them a little bit um, on certain parts of it. Because if we remember in the dining room, which we'll see later, um, they're mimicked again in there, but they're a little more ornate and painted. But it's very hard for me to get up there right now because we don't have any great I don't know, ladder scaffolding kind of situation. We have scaffolding, but it's just not that. awkward. Yeah, so I can't do any a lot of hand painting and stuff. Oh, so I think it looks terrific. It's good. Then there's a painting here, at least one. There is. The there room. is um, over one of the doorways, and I personally really like it. Um, that painting, as well as the ones that are in the living room, I would love to get um, more information now that we're here to try to look for some kind of product I can use to like clean them. Um, they seem really dirty and um, kind of has a patina on it, which patina can be good. Uh, but I do think we could probably clean them up. I think they're just, I think they're just dirty. And from the foyer and the vestibule, we come into the, the Grand, Grand Salon. Salon, our favorite room by far. It is definitely yeah. the crown jewel of the house. Um, there's our beautiful chandelier as uh, we got to uh, put it installed last summer and it is beautiful, sparkling as ever. Um, this room just boasts a lot of great molding, 
some beautiful scroll work, um, whether it's over the Trumo mirror there, which is lovely. And of course the whole ceiling has amazing uh, detail work in all of the cornices and uh, ceiling. Yeah, it's a shame. There's a couple spots that started peeling and we're gonna have to paint them, but it's too bad because it looks so beautiful and you just hate to put any more paint over the detail to lose any of it. We'll have no, to be very careful. That's true, but it definitely uh, needs some paint up there. Some original, uh, we haven't changed those yet, but to here, here, this fireplace area, and here you take us in for a close up of the box. Okay, so first of all, the fireplace, it's marble, it's Carrera, uh, gorgeous, my favorite fireplace. And this little beauty we found at the Angers Brocante. Remember last video. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think she's adorable. It's like a little boy and a little girl. We have a boy and girl and uh, daughter and son. And I think they are just charming. The scroll work actually matches a bunch of the scroll work that's in the detail on the mm. walls in the room. Didn't notice um, that. Which is really cool. Um, and I just look at the clothes, like they're just so detailed. He's got his little shoes and his little ruffles and his little flower and his hat and, and I don't know, the rose, which I think is fun because of the Griffray rose. Uh, there's just a lot of little details that I thought were terribly cute. This is probably one of the nicest corners in the house because you have all the beautiful, uh, you have all the beautiful chairs. You have kind of an arrangement. I just like it a lot. It is a nice place to sit. Yeah. There's some other beautiful details in the room and that would be on each door. There are some brass fretwork um, detailing. They're almost like for scuffs and things like that when you're opening the door. And, um, and then this beautiful ornate little pull, that, which is the knob uh, to open the doors, which I think are just incredible. Then over each doorway on the way out back to the foyer, you'll see this is actually wood that was painted. Um, and the other one, I think you'll be able to see a little bit better, but they're actually musical instruments, which I think is lovely. In one of the old pictures that we have of the salon, it shows a grand piano. In the other side there, you can see the, I think it's a violin and a cornet, things like that. And so you're hoping to put a grand piano in there. I am. Yeah, and that's something you can get in France, not too bad, a couple thousand bucks. When you look up, the ceiling is incredible. It's very white right now. I'd like to warm it up a little bit, not be quite so stark, but still be white. And I would love to bring in more of the gold detailing on some of the main features of the ceiling, just to kind of luxe it up a little bit and, and pop out those amazing features. You'll even see there's some musical um, homage uh, in some of the scroll work, which I'm not sure we'll see here right now, but um, it's pretty great. There's well, a couple of mini corners. There you go, in the corners. Oh, there you go. You can see the little mandolins yeah. uh, or ukulele maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. It's a beautiful room and uh, so many details all over the place. Yeah, it's fantastic. It just, it's a feast for the eyes and I Any plans, that. any things? We need another couch in there. So at the very back, so there's kind of two chunks of space uh, that I'd love to try to work on. We need a sofa for the main area there. There's the two little turtle doves over the mirrors. All those kind of details are just lovely. And there's the more of the paintings uh, that need to be um, hopefully cleaned so that they can be a little more vibrant. So, um, but there's kind of gonna be two seating groupings, uh, one around the fire and then one towards the back in the, um, the bay area, um, hoping to put the piano in the back left and then whatever's left on the other side uh, to do a nice little grouping made with a little table, kind of a nice place for people to hang out and chat and have tea and stuff like that. And also the curtains you rescued. Yes, I am thrilled with those little curtains that we rescued. I think they look pretty good actually, so. Yeah, it's a beautiful room. We love it quite a bit. Okay, heading from the Grand Salon, moving over to the Salle à Manger. Salle à Manger, the dining room. Yeah. So the dining room has some incredible um, original details that we could never have mimicked. Up in the ceiling, it's all hand painted. The gold still shimmers in the sun, it's incredible. And the monogram and the coat of arms of the original owner, the Andigné family, um, still exists up there. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll get a close up of that in a second. You think it's real gold maybe? I think it must be, it hasn't, it hasn't faded at all. And then check out this fireplace. The, one of the only wood fireplaces? Yeah, I think it is. Now, for a while, we were looking at these two statues. And did you tell me that they're different? I don't think they are. You think they're the same? I do. I wondered if it was the, the husband and wife, because you can never tell with the wigs <laughs> and stuff. But, um, but looking at it closely, it's hard to say. Also, in that marble, when you look at the ground, you see that shape again. But, oh, wasn't that beautiful? Yeah, the I think they are fantastic. the same. I thought at first maybe they were different, but I think they are the same um, on each side. Yes, the hearth of each uh, fireplace in the house is marble. That detail that you see in the molding there right now, 
um, with the arch um, and then the straight lines is in the hearth as well. Yep. Um, on the sides of the surround of the fireplace, there's this incredible iron um, lattice work with this great medallion shape that's in it. And you see that in a few different places. Um, you also see it above one of the doorways. Oh um, yeah, that's coming actually, that's is nice. It? Okay. But it's covered. Well, it's just, it's like, um, maybe the varnish had gone over it one too many times yeah. on most of them, but there's on one of the, um, on one of the crowns, Above the door. Above the door in one spot in the room. When the sun shines the right way, you can see the imprint of, you can't see it. Of here. that mark. No, it's on the other side, but it's coming right now. Okay. It's um, swinging around to it, I think. Right up there. Yeah. Well, By that ugly uh, fire smoke <laughs> extinguisher. <laughs> also, uh, you said you don't think the, the little bookcase in the middle is original. I don't. You think that was added in because you can tell that little shape is not, everywhere in the house, the shape is perfect. Uh -huh. But uh, you look at this one, it's not right. I think, Not quite this, right. I think this was put in, um, I have two reasons. Um, I think this was put in when they, when they did that bed and breakfast hotel thing. Um, because on one of their key labels for this room was called the bibliotheque, which means library. So I think they were trying to give this room the vibe of a library, thus putting in the bookcase. Um, like it's fine. I'll and the other reason? On it. Um, that was one reason in the shape perhaps? Of oh, the of insect. course. Yeah, yeah. That's not the same. You'd think that that would, they would have followed that yeah. theme along into that area. Yeah. So. But uh, well, there, here's a close up. I don't, I don't think you can see the imprint though. Just barely. There. Ah, there it is. A little oh bit. man. We'll have to maybe pop in a if picture. Your computer's really dark. And then again, great corbels, but th that's a little beat up when the light, when, the, when it's real light, you can see that that needs to be touched up a little bit, I think. Oh, well, yes. And right now I'm not going to be messing with the hand no. painting. I just want to leave it and hopefully again, clean it so that it can uh, retain its value. Uh, what are those animals? Are those, are those eagles? Are they griffins? What are they? Well. Dragons? I th it's some kind of flying bird. It would make sense with the griff ray. Yeah. The griff ray. It could be griffins. They kind of look like them. I don't know. And then on either side of the crown, there's on each side, they're flanking as well. Yeah. Um, which kind of looks that way. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful so color. There's the AL way. for Louis yeah. Antigny. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're lovely. So obviously right now there's some fabric on the walls and they are fabric. It's not paint um, in the room. And uh, so that all needs replaced. So but what will you change it? What color are you going to go? Yeah. So I'm getting to that. Mm. So, um, so it's not as easy as just getting out the can of paint or it would have already happened. Mm. Um, so because it's all fabric, it's going to take a little more time and money for us to change that. But the ceiling obviously is going to be our jumping off point for figuring out what color that's going to be. Um, right now, obviously something like a gold damask would be great just cause it's neutral and it kind of would just tie everything together. Um, there's a really great kind of smoky blue that's in the ceiling. Uh, that's a contender. And then there's actually um, a pinky terracotta kind of color uh, that's kind of interesting, but it will be all about price of fabric that we can afford for right. like that much fabric. Because these walls are very, very big. You're going to go fabric? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yep. <laughs> great. So that's a great room. Um, now, there's several rooms on the main floor. The next room uh, we're moving over to, uh, we call it the breakfast room. Yep. What was it originally called? Do you know? Well, it was two offices. Uh, one was the cabinet de travail, uh, which was like the work office. And the other one yeah. just says office on the plan. You can see where they've taken out the walls, the they hallway did. is gone. So it's all one big room now decorated perhaps 10 years ago or perhaps more than that. Probably longer than that. Yeah. But, uh, nonetheless, it will be changing again, fabric on the walls. Don't let it deceive you. Um, the, the faux marble, the trompe l'oeil on there is all paint. I do think that happened probably with the same eighties people. Um, but that's very common in some of the chateau, even the fancy schmancy ones, uh, yeah. will sometimes have the faux marble detailing. I'll keep that. This is, this, this window has become one of my new favorite vantage points because <laughs> you sit in the couch and look out and again, you see this massive tree all the way through. I love it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, beautiful breeze in the mornings too. The breezes oh, are, are lovely. They have just done a really good job at knowing where to place windows, yeah. uh, in the house in general and place the house on the property so that you get the best vantage point of sun right. and breeze and everything. The front courtyard. I love that. It is. That's the, the front house. door again. So both sides of that, uh, have doors that go out. Uh, this fireplace is actually marble as well. The rest marble is really interesting. Um, not sure about the surround of when that would have happened. I don't think that's. Do you, do you like that moment. fireplace or not so much? I like it because it's there and it's probably original. Okay. All right. 
I never know if it's going to run or not. <laughs> well, it's interesting. It's a bit loud, but yeah. we can make it work. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of colors going on in this room right now. Uh, some weird blues and grays and yellows and clean and fabric and not clean fabric and also 80 sconces that literally, clearly there was something else there at one point. And you can notice that some of them have been updated to a certain point to the sconce point and then the original <laughs> paint is higher so that needs to get fixed too. Yeah, it just needs a paint job. Uh, in general but again with the fabric um you know I'll, I'll be fascinated in some of these rooms to figure out uh you know when we take the fabric off uh if we can take a little peek underneath and see what was under that i think that will be a yeah, that really be super interesting. fun adventure and then yeah. maybe everything you've planned to that point will go out the window because of what you find underneath i don't know i don't know if so. this floor was redone or if it was just simpler because this is not the fancy herringbone no, and, and it's a little bit uh, squeaky in places too it's not bad but uh, short boards, straight it's pattern. It's possible that they, they changed it because they took the walls out. Yeah, maybe they had to put so, some, something new in. Maybe. But it's fine. Then in it the corner fine. between these two rooms, you have we have what our little breakfast kitchen. It is. In the turret. In the turret. So it originally would have been the room the butlers would have used for the dumbwaiter. Where the oven is now is where the dumbwaiter would have been. And we don't have a ton of shots because we were still using it. It wasn't, uh, we didn't have it ready to go really. No. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the, unfortunately, you're, you're thinking about taking the oven out to put the dumbwaiter back in Ooh, I someday. Would like to do that. It would get us real when quick to the kitchen. When that oven breaks, it is gone, it's, my friends. It's gone. <laughs> but this was so great. The students used this really well and, and they kept we, it clean. And we still will. It's yeah. great for cereal and the fruit and the yogurt and the coffee and the tea and all of that kind of stuff it works perfectly for this it's room. also kind of our break it's also a beverage kitchen like our breakfast kitchen and also sort oh, for of sure a beverage all the juice kitchen. and everything we need for lunch and all that kind of stuff yeah so yeah it was it was good yeah so now coming out of this room uh you'll see that between all this there's a bit of a hallway okay so in the hallway first we're going to take a peek towards the salle à manger but then on the right you see the servant staircase and the bathrooms what what was the deal there Okay, so when it was an amusement park, uh, I'm pretty sure the little powder room got divided up and made into a double powder room, uh, probably because they needed more bathrooms for the public. I yep. don't know. So it's kind of institutionalized with this fake wall in between making two separate water closets. Um, don't love it, but at least we've changed the light and the mirror. This room will have a huge transformation, hopefully. <laughs> um definitely paint definitely wallpaper uh changing up the tiles too tile but you like the floor tile i do the terracotta well, well we can live with that uh that one's fine but definitely all the other sort of not great looking tile will need to go at some point yeah and so, then of course that's the second, the second one is the paint we're just using right a paint cover that's that's what we're doing uh yeah because we don't need two toilets no. in the powder room no even with a whole bunch of people and i always thought this is funny we have a hot air blower we do which course. in the winter when it's cold enough <laughs> i stand there for a while it, uh, <laughs> desperate well, times call for desperate measures yeah this is true yeah. but that will get a big transformation That'll all the way to the far side of the room you have the sal the billiard room yeah the sal of billiard the sal which is our classroom it is uh, so we kind of all, we've called it the blue room at this point. Um, I suspect that the blue and tan um, little Wedgwood looking paintings above each door, um, I don't know if they're original or not, to be honest. I can't tell. I, I don't know if they are. Um, but this is what we have now, so we're going to work with it. Yeah. Um, and, and I like it. The doors in the room aren't painted the same as the actual blue of huh. the original painting. Didn't notice that. So... We need to tweak that, and I may not tweak it blue. We'll see. Great, um, great floor. We still have the original floor, which I think is Good great. Good doors, fabric on the walls. Fabric, and I actually like them. Uh, I like the fabric as long as we can, um, you know, retain it. I think that would be great. Yeah. Because um, it's actually a really beautiful brocade um, damask, and it's quite nice. Now, the uh, uh, some of the fabric got a little bit wet, so we're trying to keep it clean with yeah on, on the on the back side of the yeah. dance boat again this is a really interesting um marble fireplace uh that kind of has a tortoiseshell vibe um and we inherited a beautiful true more mirror That's over the fireplace and it is in great shape like all yeah. the pieces are there um again we have this cute little couple uh painting that kind of needs a bit of a, a clean up again but two two young couples falling in love which which is appropriate for a study abroad program <laughs> I can see I that suppose, happening. Yeah. I suppose. Um, uh, this room needs a new chandelier. The one that we have in there yeah. right now was in a room somewhere in the in the 
in the chateau, but it's too small. There's the fireplace. It's really interesting. You just don't see stone like that exactly. Yeah. Um, so, and I like it. It's interesting. Yeah. It's a, and also a, your little screen you found at the Rokan. Yeah, the little Could fireplace screen, which is fun. So each of them actually, all the way around the room are all different. This one's giving a little rose. This one, I don't even know. I wonder if it's a story. I was trying to I look at it. I suspect it is. See if there's some direction to it. But I haven't thing. stared at them long enough. This one's giving oh, no. somebody flowers and the other one's giving them a bird. Maybe somebody uh, watching this has some kind of Inside, inside knowledge. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. I don't know if it's if they're, are they in love? Or are they fighting? <laughs> I just don't. I haven't stared at them long enough to yeah. try to figure it out. But um, it, it's funny because when you're there, we have so much going on, you just can't stand and look at art, and it's also up quite high. But uh, it's, so it's kind of fun to have the and video this one and just is to saying, take a minute. Hey, what did you say? I don't know. <laughs> that yeah. was flying away. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do like that little grouping you've got. Yeah, these were all a different little brocante place that we had found, and uh, and the and the little pieces I think work okay there right now. Yeah. Um, clearly, the rug's too small, but the rug's not supposed to go there. It's just no. there right now. So we're really fortunate in this room. Uh, it also has a beautiful pattern ceiling. <clears throat> I'd love to see some gold leaf in the very middle of the oval, mm. and then all the little crosshatch of all the diamonds with all the little flowers in each of the little spots. I think would be beautiful to have yeah. a little gold on as well. And again, you've seen that uh, the lamp, the chandelier that we brought from. Was it from the foyer? I think the foyer. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it, so it's just a temporary well, placement. Well, I think it was in the staircase. We'll get that actually. changed out. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, but it needs a bigger chandelier, clearly. But for now, this is what we have. Okay, now this looks a little messy because I used to have a TV on here for class, but this is really nice. Well, we had um, a lady who painted a painting for us and she sent did. it all the way to France. I know. And it perfectly matches this room. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, there's sim symbolism in the painting. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that have read the New Testament, you probably recognize it right off the bat. It's a painting from Jesus, and it's mm -hmm. it's one of the stories about he's got all these people that have come and listened to him, and they're all uh, hungry, and they didn't bring any food, and thousands of them. Mm -hmm. And so the disciples are like, what are we going to do? And they got nothing, and so suddenly this little boy walks walks out there and, and hands Jesus his five loaves and two fishes, Then uh, Jesus multiplies that and feeds everybody, and it's it's the miracle. And uh, and so the, the meaning of it, and the reason that she sent it to us, mm -hmm. we think, is because... That's kind of what we're trying to do. We're trying to use our little five loaves and two fishes <laughs> to do some good in the world. And we're hoping that God uh, will multiply it. So really, really a beautiful gesture. And um, I just love having it in the house. Yeah. Every time I, I walk by, it, it brings me joy. It was a lovely gift. Yeah. Thank um, you. Thank you. I forget. I forget. I uh, appreciate you guys mm -hmm. sending it. So. Thank you. It's great. Swinging around, you see a kind of, almost a hidden door going into the turret. Oh, I know. I actually love the fact that that feels kind of hidden. Yeah. Um, and it does go into the turret. And um, uh, as you see, it looks like it probably was a bathroom at one point, um, and it will be again because that's what I'd like it to be. Um, I'm right not sure now. why it's off the blue room particularly. No. The billiard room, they needed the bathroom. I'm not sure. Know. Well, right I now we just have uh, scaffolding and ladders and some tables in there. Yeah, it's a mess. Like this is this is au naturel from <laughs> no one doing anything to it for the last 40, 50 years or whatever. Yeah. So, but the um, plumbing's there. The plumbing is there, so and I like that it's hidden. But that's going to serve us well in the room next door as yeah. an extra little bathroom for that person. I think we have another shot of the ceiling. This is really one of the, maybe the third nicest ceiling. I don't know. It's really quite a nice ceiling. I am just and thrilled different. we have something like this. Yeah. It's like, it's not something we can put in. We can't afford no. to, to do that kind of thing right no, now. No. And I just think it has so many beautiful really pretty intricate details like look at those like sunflowers maybe i don't know but they're just very very cute yeah and in good shape too. and then these, the beautiful cartouches in each corner rooms. are just lovely with the fleur-de-lis in, in the corner it's very oh, I very pretty see the fleur -de -lis. yeah that's great so, so you have in this room you kind of in this floor you have the three four i guess four major rooms yes go ahead and see if we if all those little flowers had a little gold on them wow Ooh. wouldn't that look amazing that would be cool they would look beautiful yeah. and it just enhances the whole pattern like right now it's lovely but a bunch of it gets lost uh and if we just highlighted some of it oh, wow that yeah. so quite a beautiful room wonderful room for a classroom that we use it for yeah uh, there's also not just these big huge rooms there's also a couple of bedrooms on the floor yeah off is, in the corner front left corner yeah which is really nice but for us they've been staff bedrooms so for like faculty um student deans um, my assistant cook that kind of stuff now here, this this hallway is actually quite a bit wider than you think because we have uh, our former owner had a couple of very large wardrobes, movable wardrobes, and so that we just have them sitting there because the two of us couldn't lift them. Oh, they're heavy. And I suppose it's not bad to have uh, closets, and then closets on the left too. So this <laughs> this hallway could almost be a small child's 
a bedroom. Well, I suppose if Dylan had kids, yeah. But I do love, I do love those those things over the window. Literally. So this bedroom is like I say, and it uh, faces the front of the property, and I just think it's a lovely bedroom. Green marble. I always like green marble. Uh, fireplace, which I think is fantastic. Uh, we gotta look at the view. No, anytime I'm holding Apparently. the camera, I always take a look at the view. It's good, except for the yellow bathroom. That's kind of. So we'll paint that um, someday. So above each door, there are these beautiful. Um, Transoms. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, this one on the what we're, we're actually looking to at first actually is uh, isn't all the way through, which we have yet I to investigate. I think they've covered it. I think they've I covered think it. They have. And they but... did some work on the on the bathroom. But that's gonna tragic, be tragic. But it still looks great. That's gonna happen. That's gonna open up. Oh yeah. Yeah. We need to do that. And a beautiful little bed niche. Yeah, totally. Uh, which I'd love to have a beautiful canopy or something in there. This is my poor little bed that needs reupholstered that I've gotten back several really bad quotes. <laughs> that expensive. isn't really expensive yeah. quotes. Uh, to refinish um, and reupholster. So I may have a project um, on my hands sooner than later <laughs> uh, to deal with that. But um, until then, uh, it did suffice, uh, and we got a brand new mattress, so it worked out totally fine. Sorry, yeah, the bed's not made. It's in the laundry when functional. we did this. <laughs> now, and again, I was both these front rooms. I just love the view out the front, looking across the facade. It is lovely. So again, it's doors terrific. out onto the terrace uh, there, which is lovely. Okay, so that first that clip was me walking through, and now Leslie also did a walkthrough because she wanted to see it. So you're going to see another look. Yeah. Okay. So um, one thing that I really love about this bedroom uh, is the wallpaper. Um, I wish we could save it. I really like it. I've had a number of people say, hey, why don't we just recreate it? Great, we'll see. Um, there are certain companies that are already doing some of this chinoiserie type wallpaper, so I might find something that's similar. That's great. Um, I don't know what the price point is of getting something made perfectly from this, but I have really enjoyed it. It's a shame it's got so many rips and tears and watermarks and everything else, but... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Our former owner, I think, was in the middle of uh, changing this room and didn't think the wallpaper was going to... So he just kind of went over it and, yeah. and, you know, he was going to put some sconces in there while those boxes are there. So that's tragic. It really is. But, you know... It is tragic. You live what you do. However, it just needs a good paint job and um, a new paper and some drapes. Yeah. Also and a nice little cove up there. Really nice cove uh, crown molding and perfect condition still, which we'll take. It's unfortunate he took uh, he disconnected those two lights so there's really no light in the room at, at the moment no and we've got to put them back on that wall <clears throat> yeah um, and get a different mirror i think i have a close-up also or you yes. have a close-up coming <clears throat> of the wallpaper but here's the here's the marble yeah so a little little the repair needed there. for that but yeah. uh the green marble is lovely and i really really like it it's the only one in the whole house that's green didn't even know it was green yeah and yeah. it's uh it's it's great in the 90s i had some green marble Mm -hmm. uh, things in my kitchen and I still love it and um, so I'd hopefully we can try to highlight that in this room so yeah. right now it's kind of just hidden here I think is the close-up of the wallpaper what do you want to say, you want to say anything about that um, it's just a classic uh, chinoiserie Chinois wallpaper with the with the bird and the vines and the flowers it's a bit of a gold shimmer which is really nice in here and the pattern scale is really great for this space um, we'll see what I find. Yeah. But this will be re-wallpapered probably because these are outside walls. Yeah. And the, the house needs to breathe, so it needs to have no fabric on these walls. Otherwise, well, mm. maybe it would breathe through still, but oh, I, sure, just, sure I, I worry about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we'll see. I, we also talked about or the possibility maybe of doing something different on the bottom to cover up all those things so you could leave the top wallpaper the same. No, you don't think? Okay. All right. Anyways. Okay, then moving uh, from that room, there's a bathroom connected. Now, this bathroom needs some work. It really does. Uh, I think it'll need a fairly good transformation. Um, the first obvious will be um, a paint job. Um, and then, uh, because we're having issues with the shower that was put in, I don't know when, uh, maybe 10, 20 years ago, um, which you'll see momentarily, uh, I think we're just going to pull it out and just tile the whole thing. Um, this room probably will get the closest to a gut uh, because you're not a big, really a big fan of any of the tile. You don't like the color and you don't like any of the fixtures. And it's small. Yeah. So it would be an easy swap out. Yeah. Really quick. Let's just clean it up a little bit. Do some basic, basic things in there that clean it out and it'll be good. Yeah. That'll be fun yeah. to tile it. And then it connects to another bedroom. It does. So this little bedroom was a single bedroom. Uh, it originally also had a bed niche to the right of the bed there, uh, but they stole some of the space from um for the bathroom for the bathroom mm -hmm. shower so we lost some of that so again really nice cove detail in the crown 
uh, moldings. Great window, lets all kinds of air through the house. It does actually, mm -hmm. and it's very cute. A uh, little bit of a closet there. Um, the orange? This, um, you know, you can't really tell how vibrant any of these colors are right now, but the peach will go unless I want to paint a lot more doors in my future, which not this second I don't. <laughs> the orange will probably stay and we will just neutralize the wall color, but I actually don't mind it. And then coming out from that room, you're back to the foyer, the vestibule as it's written. So one last thing about the foyer. That wall that you see now that we've exited the bedrooms is, a, is our only big blank wall. There is a heating unit on the very bottom, but I'd really love to get a really decent sized console table and a very large mirror on that wall and then some great art. And I think that will really help maybe flank the flank with the, with some nice chairs, someone, you know, a place for someone to sit down and put shoes on or something. I don't know. Are you going to take that reception desk out? Yeah. It's too bad because they made it to match the house. Like it has the same bath. It's really quite well made, but we'll find a spot for it. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Yeah, that's okay. But it's solid oak. It's good. And then coming back to the front doors, you leave and you once again come to the beautiful front facade of the Chateau de la Grifray. Uh, thanks very much for joining us on this walkthrough. We hope uh, you're having a good day and you've enjoyed this time.